Smith. Good evening, my name is Pamela Smith, P-A-M-E-L-A-S-M-I-T-H. I am the current president of Our Santa Fe River Inc., a nonprofit um, to protect the land adjacent to the river, its springs, and its aquifer. Uh, I'm also a property owner on the Santa Fe River, and I'm very blessed to be able to see the river look out and see the river and how it uh, flows and its health every day. And most importantly, third, I'm a grandmother. Uh, in January, I retired from commercial real estate, so I'm no stranger to development. Uh, but, and I've decided in this chapter to advocate for a beautiful part of the world, our river, that cannot advocate for itself. We are sister rivers to the Suwannee, to the Itchitakabee. Our mother is the aquifer, the Florida aquifer that runs under these rivers. It has taken a billion years to develop the aquifer to its perfection. And we are seeing already the challenges to our rivers and our aquifer due to water extraction and chemical pollutants. We are, our springs are flowing at 50% capacity. And to add an additional risk factor to this incredible natural resource is just abominable. Uh, you don't see pipelines coming through Yosemite. Well, we are just as fabulous as Yosemite. Uh, we do not want this pipeline going through this area because just the fact that we are here discussing an environmental impact study shows you that there are impacts to our environment. And uh, I'm thankful that you, as a committee, have been able to do some work because can you imagine what it would be if you weren't there to at least safeguard us? Um, in business, I learned that you should always have a win-win situation. Well, right now I'm looking at a win-loss. I'm looking at, so they say, South Florida getting natural gas, they win. I'm looking at very large energy companies winning by making profits from this. But I'm looking at our area of the world as a loser in this deal. Because once you impact it, the aquifer, it'll never be back. I mean, very difficult. I mean, I'm not that technical, but why go through an area that you could potentially destroy when it's one of the few things we leave for our grandchildren? We're already finding other aspects. Then this becomes an additional one. I think it jeopardizes our area as a uh, president of this organization, giving the voice of river as a property owner there, and most importantly as a grandmother, I ask you to really consider the long-term impact of these kind of, of this situation and not to bring a pipeline to our area. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Smith.